Good morning, Greg. Good morning, Mama. What's our plans for today? We're going to Genesis. It will take Libby to Olive Garden. Go to Genesis, come back home for a little bit, because it won't be time to get her yet. And then we'll pick up Libby from preschool and go to Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. And she's probably going to want to go to the library, too. Right. And we'll see if we need to do anything else, all right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll turn it back on. Say, go Hawkeyes. Go Hawkeyes. <laughs> you're not going to do it facing me, are you? Too busy playing with your la-la loopsies. la la loops. Yeah. Well, I started off by leaving my phone in the car. <laughs> so Craig's up there waiting for me. It is absolutely beautiful today. Such a nice day. We almost just walked outside this morning. And here's the good part about having a workout buddy. I did not feel like doing this this morning. I had a headache. But Craig came down dressed and all ready to go. And I couldn't tell him no. So here we are. Now hopefully there'll be some machines. Because the parking lot is packed. Oh, Craig's went on in. We're in luck. Almost all the treadmills are open. Craig's already got started without me. I was getting all my stuff together. And we're all done, right Craig? Yeah. How you feeling? Great. Does feel good. I'm glad you got me to get ready to go. Saturday? Yeah. I don't know. Home. Yeah, we'll probably just stay home and work on some projects. We'll see. going to show you that Joe did get a birdhouse put up yesterday. This is supposed to be a bluebird house. So we'll see if it increases our population of bluebirds. I hope so. There's our deer. The girls like to ride on. Those belong to Joe's dad and mom. And I may have told the story before, but um, one year for Christmas, they had the two adult ones for a while, and we bought the baby one and just snuck it into their backyard Christmas Eve, and we had a big red bow on it. So in the morning, it looked like their deers had a baby. <laughs> and the gate, which I never have gotten moved. I want to move that to the backyard. Actually, all of this stuff. However, these concrete things are so heavy. So they've sat here for three years, but we still need to get them to the backyard. Um, but the gate was at my mom and dad's. I painted it and decorated it. It used to be in my yard in Knoxville. I do need to get that to backyard because I really like it. Craig had Cheerios for breakfast. I'm having one of these bars from Aldi. We honestly will be having lunch before that long, so I don't really want to cook anything for breakfast. And... These are 150 calories, so pretty good breakfast. These taste really good, and they're satisfying. And we have Livy, and she wants to go to Casey's. This is the tradition after preschool. Livy always goes to Casey's. What do you want today, Livy? You have to get up there to see. No. Gotta go all the way this way. Yeah, it's okay. I'll sit over here by you. Okay. I'm getting your tablet. Better now? <laughs> That's funny. Rainbow poop. I had to put in the toilet. So here's the lunch menu. If you've ever wondered what their lunch menu looks like, uh, the prices are fair. Pretty much standard for a lunch menu. A little cheaper than some places. What's wrong with your game? I said oh. here comes my Yeah, Libby got the strawberry smoothie. That looks really good, Libby. A strawberry smoothie and french fries. That's what Libby wanted. And I ordered your lasagna for you, Craig. Today's a big day. Craig yep. wants to try lasagna, right? right. Just like Garfield. Yep. We may finally be able to eat pizzolis. What? Because they have lasagna. 
Right. They actually have pretty good lasagna, which is in no way keto, but the lunch lasagna is not too bad. It has 500 calories. So it's actually one of the lower calorie items on the menu, surprisingly. Except the soup. The soup is really good. It's only like 150 calories, so that's what I'm getting, soup and salad. Livy's trying the first drink of her slushy. What do you think? Yes, there are strawberries in it. Well, the strawberries are good. Why are there strawberries? Because it's a strawberry slushy. It's not the same as the ones at Casey's. You don't like it? Uh-oh. Now what are we going to have to drink? Craig's lasagna. Now, let's see if he likes it. Hey, there's spaghetti! Shh! It's just pasta. It's not spaghetti. You like it. You had it the other day. It's fine. Well? Mmm. Tastes good. Yeah, see? It's okay. And I got the soup, pasta fijoli. Lasagna. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> see? You were just afraid to try it, weren't you? Because it has pasta in it. It's a pretty big step. Olive Garden is the best restaurant. The lasagna is delicious. The waitress is nice. I give it two thumbs up. Five stars and a Craig A. Bamber Silver Cribble. How about you, Libby? How many thumbs up? Ten thumbs up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And okay. The and the waitress are nice. Um, and, um, how was your food? Good and, mm. and I like my slushy because it was just strawberry flavored <laughs> You know, Mama, Garfield was right. It is good lasagna. First I tried the mac and cheese, now I try lasagna. Yeah, pasta's not bad, is it? Yeah. No spaghetti, right? Okay, you don't have to eat spaghetti. It's disgusting. Back at Aldi. <laughs> What's new? Came in here at the speed of light. Oh, he already found the... What kind of relish did you get? Is Sweet it? relish. I think that's probably the right one. Okay. And then we need to get some bars, okay? We decided to get some healthy snacks to take with us on our road trip. Thank you. So we're going to take some of these. These will be better for Craig than eating chips. And for me too. <laughs> and then let's see, we need to get some bars. Whoopsie, you okay? We'll get, which one did I get that was really good? Okay, just a second. We'll go look at it, okay? Um, I think this is the kind that I liked and I got last time. As the scariest Halloween so definitely good. That's not Play-Doh, it's that sand stuff. Is that what you want? Yeah. Okay, let's get it. You want the one in the bottom? Can you get it out? Oh, you got it, okay. I'll give you something. To, oh, you wanna put it in the cart? Look what I got, Craig. Kinetic sand? Yep. Okay. What do you think about that, Craig? <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. He went to the post office by himself, which always makes me very nervous. And it's taking longer than I think it should. I may have to go in there. Craig did get a package and he wants to open it now. Is there anything in there? A gift for you. Happy Easter, Craig and family. Love from your number one fan, from Angela. Aw, thank you, Angela. Can you say thanks to Angela? Thanks, Angela. I wonder what is it? It's a lop-eared rabbit. Okay. 
Livy and I are taking a walk to the mailbox. We're gonna walk around the block. You'll get a good hill in for me. <laughs> Like Craig, she's too fast for me. Got the mail. We've seen some robins. And Livy found a rock. Can you show him your rock? <laughs> Probably a chunk of the sidewalk or the street. I don't know. I bet it came out of the street. What scares you? That there, there's a hole now where the acorn was? No, that bug. Oh, you saw a bug? Let's no, see your acorn. That bug. Oh, I can't even see it. Look at that little teeny bug. I know. Oh, it's an ant. It's a real small ant. Maybe you discovered some acorns we gotta pick up. Thank you. Thank you. I had to be in the view too. Yeah. Welcome to our circus. <laughs> what are we doing today, Craig? And hello, Hi, this is Jeff Crane here. Libby. And today we are making crusty burgers. I need to lift the camera up a little bit. Now it's the top of your head, isn't it? Yes. Welcome to my circus. <laughs> Okay, and tonight we're making crusty burgers. Craig has been very excited to make a recipe out of this unofficial Simpsons cookbook that one of our nice viewers sent to him. I mean, what are we doing? So, the first thing we need is two pounds of ground beef. We have the Angus. Oh my goodness. We have the Angus ground beef. I'm going to have Craig put these patties into the mixer. Let's see if we can get the mixer in there a little bit. I mean, what's the matter, kid? You need something? Okay. Oops. This, this page will not stay open. I know, I gotta quit. Let's do that. That will help. There. Much better. I used the Mickey Mouse clip to hold it open. Huh? Okay, Craig. You want to get back oh. over here where they can see you? Save it. Well, you know what's fine? Flowers. You know what's fine? Okay, so oh, the oh. next thing, we it says two medium garlic cloves. We don't have garlic cloves, but we do have this minced garlic, refrigerated minced garlic. And I'm going to have you put a scoop of that in with the hamburger. How's that? That's fine. You know, that's fine. It can be anything. We do like garlic. Too. Okay, you can put in the onion powder, okay? Okay, and then we're also going to put in a scoop of this onion powder. And we'll let no, Libby no. dump that one in. Well, the onion powder got a little bit. Hard there. Huh? Okay, you can put that in there. Mm. And then it says a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. But our kosher salt is very coarse ground. I don't think that's what we want to use in the burgers. So we're just going uh -oh. to use this. Spilling salt's bad luck. It's okay. Okay, I'll let you put in one and Craig can put in one, okay? You put in one, and then the next one Craig will put in. Okay, I get to do the first one. Okay, there's that. Okay, here goes. Oops. Okay, now you put then that you one in. The worst, then. Okay, I think but that's being all the ingredients for the burgers. Cracked up to be. Okay. But being a moral isn't always cracked. You're gonna put that. Okay, but now a moral we is close up always. the mixer. Always cracking. I will. And oh, up no. to be. Okay. But being a moral. Can you push this? But being a moral is not always cracked go. up to be. All right, Craig, do you want to turn it on? Okay. But Here it comes. do this part. Oh, yeah. You turn it one click and then Craig can turn it the other click. Let's you do it. Craig, do one click and I'll do the other Okay. Okay, now. All right. Oh, 
that this mix up good. I think that's mixed up good. You could use your hands. I don't like putting my hands into a cold raw hamburger and Craig certainly doesn't either. I so like it. I usually use the mixer. Well, Hercules. And now Man. we need to make them into patties. Anyway. Oh, to well, you have to touch the hamburger. Yeah. I didn't think you'd want to. I don't touch it. It's gonna have to be me. <laughs> I have to touch it. <laughs> Craig, you want to try making one? No. That's what I thought. Oh, here, can you get behind me so they can still see you? First, I'm going to section it out into eight patties. Up to eight, I'll put them in balls. Make sure I have eight. <laughs> Best way to do it would have been to weigh this, mm -hmm. weigh the patties before I mixed them, but it, I didn't do that. And that would have been an easy way to see how big to make them. Mm -hmm. ah, hi. Ah. We had to say goodbye to our lovely kitty bug this week. She, we've had her for, what year did we get bug, Craig? 2011. Over here. And yeah. she died. Yeah, yeah, she did. She was 13 years old. She'd been sick for a little but while. But it wasn't the black cat. It was the it was the cat. It it looked like it had spots. Right. It was our calico. Calico, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was Looks our calico cat. She was a white calico. What do you want? Sweetest cat ever. Craig, you have anything to say about Bug? I'll miss you, Bug. Yeah, you really liked Bug. Yeah, rather than eggs, the young annoying cat. <laughs> it's true. But we all love Bug. She's so orange, sweet. Yes. And did the orange cat die? No, the orange cat's still here. Um, one really cool thing about Bug was we always said she was our other dog. She actually acted like the dog. She would come and beg for food. Sure. And when we had our other Pomeranian, Molly, Bug loved Molly. Her and Molly would play together. They'd clean each other. They just had the sweetest relationship. She liked our do other dogs, but none of them liked her as much as Molly did. Okay, I think we have about got it. But she got to um, spend her last days here with us. We made a special little box for her with a soft blanket and held her and Joe brushed her. She loved being brushed. But we'll definitely miss her. I mean, 13 years is a long time. She was one of our family, right? Wait, what yeah, she's one of our family. Hey, Dad, we got the patties. Well, I now we need to smash the patties, though. I want to try. Okay, here. Let me get something to put them on, and then I'll put a piece of wax paper, and then nobody has to touch the hamburger. But me, you're gonna have to wait till I'm done. We're done doing this. I'm not gonna stop. Okay. Okay. So I don't have wax paper apparently, but what we're going to do is put one of the patties on here. Now I'll show you what we'll do. No, I know, but and then I'm, how you smash it. I know, I'm gonna cover it with this foil and then you won't get your hands on it. And then we'll do the same thing for Craig. And then Craig can smash it. I don't know what's done. You are. Getting a smash good. You are smashing good with your knuckles. I think mine is done. How's that, Mama? I think yours is done. Okay. That's the biggest smash. I do like mine really thin, though, so I like a smash burger. Okay, I think that one's good. So let's put it back here. Craig's got his smash nice. Now we gotta do it with the rest of them. Okay. Again, Dollar Tree is a wonderful place to buy these foil sheets. And they're great for making baked potatoes and doing stuff like this. Okay, I'll show you another one. Let's get this out of the way now.
touch it. Oh, you're doing good. I like touching it, Al. You like touching it? Yep. Perfect. Okay. This will be great, Mama. What don't you do? No, here, leave it on here. And this will be great. Okay. Put them over here. I get to do it again. Mm hmm You get to do it again. I'll get this again. I'll get mine. I'll get mine, my get. Okay. Now we you get yours. Crazy, you want to get one of the dough to meatball? <laughs> Okay. Hey. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. All right, Craig. Mm -hmm. Smash that one. We're going to be an expert at this by the time we're done. That's what I like touching it. Chubby. That's good. That's what I like touching it now. You do? That's pretty surprising. We gotta make sure we wash our hands afterwards too, okay? So you don't uh, don't get any raw hamburger in your mouth. Oh, we're good. Oh, it's so cool to touch. <laughs> it's so cool to touch. Come on. 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 Sorry. I like touching it now. I know, I know. I mean, why am I touching it now? Okay. So, can I go get a wrapper? I guess. Don't touch your mouth, though. You must. After you're done, you have to, you'll have to wash your hands again, okay? Okay. The rise and fall. Are you looking for birds? Uh, blue sky yeah, I got it. I just want some season salt. No, let's start off. Can I do it? Can I find online? Okay. Okay. No, I got one more that needs to smash. Can I get one to smash the last one? I think that you want to put seasoning on yours. Well, I want to do it. Well, maybe I'll go do it. There, teamwork. Good job, you guys. All right, okay. here's what you do. You just take a little bit and sprinkle it on. You want to sprinkle some on yours too, Craig? Okay, Mac, that's good. Shake off the excess and put it on the bottom side. So now I gotta put it on the bottom side. How's that, Mama? Okay. Mom? I think that's uh -huh, okay. I think that's good. Libby, why don't you go? Let's get your hands washed now. Here, um, let me put a little more and that's because look. It doesn't look good. Oh, oh. I'm gonna turn it over. And then we have it in the back. This girl loves to help. Mm -hmm. And today, who are you rooting for today? Who are you cheering for, Libby? Hot guys. <laughs> why are you wearing the cheer there for? Do you know why, Libby? Because it's Hot Guy Day. It's Hot Guy Day. It's it's the final huh? four in the girls' basketball tournament. You're going to the basketball tournament? No, she's just cheering for him. They have a really good player this year called mm -hmm. named Caitlin Clark. She's gotten really famous. And she is an amazing basketball player. Okay. After we get these all done, then we're going to make the secret sauce. <gasps> secret sauce! Yes. We are going to finish these. Okay. One. your hands too, okay? You can wash them in the bathroom though. What do we need now? Okay. The secret sauce. That's right. The secret oh, I won't sauce. touch those onions. I won't touch those things. Okay. I won't touch you mean the pickles? Yeah. Pickles. Okay, so for the secret sauce, you want to get back <laughs> over here, Craig? Look, I see like, one half cup of mayonnaise. Something else is driving it. Something else is driving it? Yeah, look. Oh, you're talking about the car. 
Okay, we need one half a cup of mayonnaise. Oh. I want to do it. But maybe we'll make a cup to make sure we have enough secret sauce. You can always save the leftovers. Mm -hmm. like this this I also up. the onions. Okay. Well, those are actually, we don't have any onions. Come on, you. Let's go. There you go. I mean, I guess I'll Here, just why don't you move over next to Libby so we can see you. Really? I'm going to have to move really? my flowers. Here. Stephanie sent me some pretty Those flowers spatulous. when Bug died. Really? And gave me this really cute really? little cat statue. Really? How is that, Mama? Let's see. Could I show you the front of the flowers or the back? Because the front's much prettier than the back is. That's flavorless. It's flavorless. Oh. Okay, we have just a little bit more in there. Can I do it? Mm -hmm. Can I turn now? Here, you want to put some in there? Let's see if you can get it in there. Okay, now you gotta put it in there. Mine okay. is so good. Mm -hmm. It's big, isn't it? That's gonna be a lot of secret sauce. Okay, then next we need. Um, two tablespoons of ketchup. But let's make it four tablespoons because we put in. So let's get the table. Shake it up. I cannot see you. Okay, let's see. Can I do it? No, it's my time. I do it. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what you're trapped inside. Okay. Okay, so we need about three to four Can tablespoons. Can I do it? Yep. And no. You do that much and then Craig will do part of it too. You put in this tablespoon, okay? Maybe and then you can. Why don't you Craig. clean this here? Okay. Why don't you set it? Got some. It okay. was in a second. Okay, Craig, you'll put another tablespoon Wait. in there. And I'll get this oh. out of the way. Oh. Are you having trouble? Yes, I'm having trouble with ketchup. Okay. So it looks like I have something over here. What? What? Can't finish. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's okay. I didn't mean it. It's, it's okay. We just clean it up. No, we only do one. Mm. Two tablespoons of our sweet relish. We're going to have to rinse off our... Craig, see if you can get that open. Butter fingers. Okay. Maybe Dad, can see if Dad can open up for you. You need two tablespoons of this relish in there. Can I try? You can put one and Craig can put one, okay? Okay, oh, here. That's a lot there. Okay, now you There's put that one in all. there. I would never eat that. There's oh. Okay, now I'll have Livy do Their it. Voices. I get to do it two times. No, Wait. just once. We only need one more of Livy. Can I put it in? Yeah, put it in. It's more now. Okay, there's the relish. Oh. What about the pickle juice? It's all right. Yep, we got to do pickle juice too. It's okay. We just clean it up. Yeah. We need we need two teaspoons of pickle juice. Do you get the mustard? Not yet. We haven't got to the mustard yet. So, do you want to put the two teaspoons of pickle juice in? Yeah. That would be easy for you. Oh, you don't want to do it? I'll have Craig do it. Okay. Put that in. Now, two more times I get to do Okay. Yeah, some got on my hand. Okay. I can't really see it. Okay. One more scoop. Okay. All right. And Craig, you can put one scoop in. 
Yes. Ready? I'll get your milk now. Yeah, I don't have my hand. How's that, Mama? That's you good. You can always see it. That's good. Well, do you want to wash your hands? All right. All right. Wash it up. I'm going to get Libby your milk right quick. Okay, mustard. Now, okay, is that next in line? Okay, two teaspoons of mustard. Shake it. I think maybe just one tablespoon because hey. let's try a tablespoon. Well, you can put a little more in, okay? Well, I get two tablespoons. No, anyway. you only put in, I can't have you put in too much. Okay, now put that in. All right, Libby, put that in there. First, you gotta quit drinking your milk. Well, that's all we need. Okay, and I think that's all we that's all we have to add. And then we gotta mixy mix no, it up. Tell okay, us what's next. You can help. All right. Okay, you gotta mix it up. I think this is going to be sort of like Thousand Island dressing. Although I don't know if Thousand Island dressing has mustard in it. Well, we did put mustard. I know. This is the secret sauce. We have a lot of secret sauce. I probably shouldn't have doubled it. <laughs> we'll have to find a container to put it in. Stuff on your hand. Here, wipe your hand off. Let me try this. Okay, let Craig stir now. No. And then you can stir again. <laughs> okay, your turn. Now we're gonna get a, a spoon to taste some of it. You wanna taste it? Yeah. Well, I don't want to taste it. Uh, not surprising. Okay, a little Josie fell asleep. Okay, you taste it and see what you think. Wow! <laughs> Tastes good. No, I wouldn't want to eat it by itself, but I think it'll be I good on a burger. I would not Blech. taste it. No, if I hold you down and make you taste it, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. We got the secret sauce, sir. Okay, secret sauce ready. And I'm going to cut up some onion for mine. Can I go now? You can go. Can I take my cookbook? Yep, you can take your cookbook. Now what else do you need? Oh, I'm going to cut some onion. I like, I'm like. i going to want onion What will I cut up? Well, I don't know. What, what are those little green things? That's just some celery I have in there for when I make... Uh... Well, I don't want to do the celery. <laughs> okay, you can work on the celery bits. Hey, I get to do the onions too. Oh, you want to cut the onions? And and I want to cut these. Wait, no, I don't want to cut the onions. Okay, There's your knife. Oh, I get a big knife. Mm -hmm. And you do. I'm gonna do small first. Oh, I bet I could do an onion. Probably enough onion because I'll be the only one eating onion, probably. I want to cut onion too. I'll 
take the sticker off. He's almost just put it on my shirt. Good job. Well, I'll just put it on your shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that doesn't look silly at all. So I'm going to basically just slice up this summer squash. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag with some olive oil and some seasoning and bake it in the oven. We've also done this on the grill and I've done it on the stove top. Well, I kind of want to cut in small pieces, but you can work on cutting that for me. I don't know if Craig will eat this squash. We'll see. He's been very open to trying new foods lately. Yeah. I, I think his hunger from not eating as much as usual is oh, no. really making him willing to try new things. It's okay. We'll get it. I want you to share with them what your A1C1 was when you went to the doctor. Oh, what it was this time? Yeah, compared oh. to what it was. I don't remember, I don't know what it was last yeah. time, but yeah, it my was last way appointment. Low. What was that? Yeah, I go every six months, and I hadn't been being very good with it, and my A1C had got up to seven point eight again, which is is too darn high to be setting at, considering I'm I'm on I'm on metformin and Farsiga, and like the max dose of of uh, of the metformin anyway. So I had one more doctor's appointment to go to and then he was gonna he was gonna have to increase my medication, probably on my Farsiga and or maybe going to like taking it, you know, real early in the morning and then like early afternoon or so. So yeah, I I went there, you know, after we've been we've been doing keto and everything, my blood sugars have been just way, way down. And we we'd only did it for we've been on keto not quite two months, yeah, and when I, yeah when I went for my A one C it it dropped all the way down to six point four, so yeah it's real that's really good yeah it's really and, exciting yeah it'll, I might yeah after the next six months I might be under six so that's that's my goal he said that my goal should just be to stay at six point four said that's that's really good for for type type two diabetic to, to hold it at that, especially as bad as mine was. I mean, I'm not a big guy, so I can't lose a lot of weight or anything to help me with, with di being diabetic. So and basically the only way I got a chance of beating it is I got to do it with diet. And so uh, diet and exercise. So that's where we're at. Yeah. Keto for the yeah. win. I mean, and Joe's been oh, really, no. he's oh, been I super strict moving. about, it's okay. We'll yeah. pick it up. I went, I went a couple different weeks. I went like uh, like three of the or maybe four of the seven days. I like have like maybe four carbs total, and if they were, they were like from berries or something like that. Okay. That's where we're at. I got the grill <laughs> heated up. If you want to. Okay, I think we're. I think okay. I think we're done with this. I don't want you to. I know you can cut your finger with this. You hammer um, your hand with it. Yeah. yeah, it's not easy to. But you can, because Craig did one, so. That's why I don't want you trying to cut, like, slices. You can chop with it if you want, but I don't want you trying to put your fingers in there and slice, okay? Okay, because okay, I want you to get hurt, like that. Okay. Are you trying to cut two pieces at once? This girl, she Whoa. is the most determined child I've ever seen. <laughs> she is determined she can do everything by herself. Okay, we're going to shake this around, get the oil all over them, and then we'll put some, let's see, I usually put some Lowry's in there. Oh, goodness. No, no, you won't like it, Penny. It will taste better if it's in your mouth. Okay, let's put some Lowry's in there. Can I grill these? Yeah, you can grill. They're ready. I'm just trying. Okay. I've got the seasoning salt mix. I made it with some like Mexican seasoning salt and then Lowry's and this. This is one of my very favorite things that you can get at Marshall's. It's 
smoked paprika, garlic, chili, and chives. It's excellent on many things. Onion slices in there. This gives it more flavor. So I'm spray the some more oil on the put some foil down. I'm gonna pour out the summer squash on the baking sheet and we just put it in a single layer. And here it is, ready for the oven. There it is, all ready for the oven. Looks like I maybe need to hit it with a little seasoning on some of them. And I'll just, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'll try 15 minutes and then I'll keep going until it's done. It just depends on how crispy you want it or not crispy, how, how what the doneness is you want of your squash. Livy's going to show me how to blow a bubble. Oh, you got one. It's kind of windy, it's hard to blow bubbles. <laughs> Joe's grilling up the burgers. Is it pretty close? They look so good. I honestly can't remember the last time I had a burger. The keto buns open up a new world of being able to have burgers. Or I could really probably just eat it without a bun too. It smells so good. There's a nut hatch and chickadee. Okay, let's try this crusty burger. Craig put cheese and bacon bits on his, right? Mm -hmm. And the secret sauce. Apparently a lot of secret sauce. Let's see what he thinks. Mmm. 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 Tastes delicious. Well, the real question is, does it taste like steamed hams? Yes, it tastes like steamed hams. Just like a crusty burger? I already took a bite. Mm. I mean, they're good. Um, mm, good burger. Yeah. Which tells me it's not like a crusty burger. <laughs> because I'm not a big fan of crusty burgers. The thing well, about crusty burgers at Universal are they really are steamed. <laughs> they have them in steamers, so they don't have the nice crispness like making them on the grill. These are delicious. Yeah, these are really good. 10 out of 10. It's a good recipe. I like that putting the garlic and the onion in them. The Berenstain Bears Visit Grizzly Land by Mark Berenstain. Based on the characters created by Stan and Jen Berenstain. Narrated by John Lithgow. Magical wonders will be at your command when you visit a place known as Grizzly Land. The Bear family were was going on a very special trip, one they had been planning for a long, long time. Brother, sister, and honey were so excited they could hardly breathe. They were on their way, flying in a great silver airliner to that most magical spot in all bear country, the famous theme park, Grizzly Land. At last, the plane tore touched down. Everyone on board clapped, cheered, and clapped. Yay! cried the Cubs. We're here! Papa was just as excited as the Cubs. I can hardly wait to go on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, he said. Papa was really into Pirates of the Caribbean. They climb aboard a shiny Grizzlyland bus that whisked them right into their hotel. The hotel was like a theme park in itself. A jungle of tri tropical trees grew in the lobby. Brightly colored parrots in perched in the branches. Hello, she said to the big blue to a big blue one. Hello, it said back. After they checked out the view from their room's balcony, the family was ready to hit the park. They were eager to try out all the exciting rides. A special train called a monorail took them from the hotel to the park. Honey was, Honey thought the monorail was one of the rides. She liked it so much she didn't want to get off. But they finally talked talked into, into her into joining the crowd. 
heading through the front gates. They emerge into a wonderful world of the imagination. There were old-fashioned buildings and old-fashioned trolleys. A band dressed in old-fashioned costumes played quaint old tunes. And there were famous characters to meet. meet. The ones they knew so well from movies and TV. Harry Hamster and Charlie Chicken, Gloria Gopher and Ablard Aardvark, the lovely Princess Petunia, and handsome Prince Percival. You could even get your picture taken with them. And now it was time for the rides. How about Pirates of the Caribbean? suggested Papa. Sounds good, said Sister, but Space Grizzlies is right here. Let's do that first. It was a roller coaster that zipped wildly around Grizzly Galaxy. It went up and down and looped the loop. Space Grizzlies popped out from behind plants as the cubs zapped down with their space zappers. Whoa! moaned Papa, his head spinning. That was okay for starters, said Papa when it was over. Let's look for something more exciting. How about Pirates of the Caribbean? asked Papa hopefully. Sure, said Sister. But the spinning honey pots are next. They sat in a big honey in honey pots that spun around and around and around. The cubs laughed and screamed. Whoa! moaned Papa getting dizzy. That was fine. A little tame, said Brother. What's next? How oh, about Pirates of the Caribbeans? asked Papa shakily. No problem, said Sister, but I'm hungry. How about lunch? They stopped at a 1950s style bur burger bear. They were served by waitresses on roller skates. They had milkshakes, triple honey burgers, and french fries. Whoa, said Papa, feeling a little sick. That hit the spot, said Brother, licking his lips. Now another ride. How about Pirates of the Bear Beans? asked Papa faintly. Sure thing, said Sister, but Sploosh Mountain is on the way. Our way. They got into a hollow log floating in the trail. It climbed up and up and up. It wound in at about an old mining cab. Then it went down and down and down. They went sploosh into a pool oh, at the bottom. Whoa! Moaned Papa getting wet. That was pretty good, I made brother. Now what? How about... Papa began weakly. Pirates of the Caribbean! They all said together. Look, Papa, look, said Mama. We're here. Sure enough, the Pirates of the Bear Bean ride rose before them. It looked like a mysterious old fortress. They went inside. There were cannons and barrels and gunpowder. There were dungeons and flaring torches. They climbed into a pirate boat that floated into the darkness. A cold wind blew in their faces. A spooky call voice called, Beware! Beware! Suddenly, they came to a harbor where a battle was going on. A pirate ship fired its cannon at a town's wall. The town fired back. Cannonballs splashed all around them. It was very exciting. Oh boy, oh boy, said Papa, bouncing up and down his seat. Papa, sit down, said Mama. You're rocking the boat. When the ride was over, they came out and out, blinking into the bright sunlight. That was so cool, said Papa. Let's do that again. The whole family laughed. How about Pirates of the Bear Bean, they said, as they led a very happy Papa back inside. The end. And this is Craig A. Vever saying, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. And we'll see you in Omaha.